Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're using the code chicken in the shop. I do appreciate it if you entered in as it does expire every seven days. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so what we got going on today, we went on a pretty solid win streak. We got up to about 2446, I think was the highest, something like that. Um, 2436. Or no, 2447. So obviously the goal today was to get to 25. Uh, I did change up the base again. Uh, and it helped a little bit, but it's just, it's tough, man. It's tough. So, um, yeah, the goal right now is just to get to legendary because that's probably where we're going to need to get to if we want to have a top 500 finish. But, you know, if, if that's not in the cards, we still want to get up as high as we can, uh, to have a good push for next season. So this is where it gets tricky. Now we're kind of at the point, and I think most of you guys are, are, are pretty close to, you know, you're either here with me or you're, um, you're coming in behind, but either way, the uh, the Super Warriors they're becoming uh, they're becoming very strong. Now the Super Warriors are very good because they're able to take out some engine rooms by themselves. But the thing is, they were good when people weren't catching on to how like um, that everyone was using them. So typically, a lot of these bases they they had these engine rooms at the back and they weren't really very well guarded. Um, so you see, the, this is more of like a a current base where it's got like protection on all the engine rooms it's got the open doom cannon um you got rocket launchers on all sides and it's just you know you got all the mines in the middle it just makes it awkward and then for the last two er's down here you can't flare to them so it it, it eats up that little bit of extra time so let's um let's show an attack first so we did get on a little streak here then i lost one and i find whenever i'm on a streak and i lose one i always lose the next two or three i don't know if it's a mental thing or if it's a matchmaking thing i'd like to you know just blame supercell for it but maybe it's just a mental thing for me but um so whenever i'm on a streak and i lose one now i just stop and i'll wait for the next chest time and that's when i'll push again um you know unless i i, I know i got something I, I wasn't too sure if i i really had a good push point today or not but you see uh basically what we do here is i throw the critters out now we can do this still on some of these bases because a lot of the guys they don't have full coverage you know they'll, they'll have a mortar and a flamethrower for example but they won't have um you know like one two three and a rocket launcher so you can you can create them pretty easily so make sure that you guys put some mines around your um any edge rooms that are naked or you don't have a ton of defenses on them uh i'm still going back and forth with bullet i was using shock knuckles now it's not really about knuckles it's more about the energy drink um because the way we're using heavy choppers and bombers, we don't really have an issue with them dying. They're not, they're not really fizzling out. Um, we just have to keep the bombers alive, keep them off of mines, basically. Um, and then from there, we're just trying to delay drop and split clear the map and, and kind of take it down all at once. And then the most important thing is we want to make sure that our attacks stay above two minutes. That two minutes is kind of the cutoff. Um, and the way we're able to do that is by either using critters on an engine room this base looks the exact same as mine. I think it is. Um, using critters on the engine room or taking it down with artillery. So that's what we're probably going to try here. So here's the landing. We're going to go bullet, chopper, chopper, bomber, bomber. And we're just going to let them uh, clear those mortars, work their way up to the sniper. And then we're going to drop a couple, um, the next two heavy choppers over on the side. This is what I tried to do in yesterday's video, but I, I think I dropped both the heavy choppers on top of each other and it kind of ruined the attack. So we're not in any rush. Not just yet. So now we can drop this guy over here. And that one already went to the left, so we can just go ahead and try to throw him out there. Um, yeah, he's not going to go there, but that's okay. They'll come back around. You know, I'd rather have too many heavy choppers than not enough of them, right? So from here, we kind of just want to chill. We kind of just want to relax, take out any mines, shock any rock launchers that are going to target bombers. Um, and we just want to kind of predict where these guys are going to go. Um, now that I say that, it doesn't actually matter because he's got, um, he's got, uh, he's got those engine rooms, so we're going to have to flare that way anyways. Okay, so once we get to the 25th, once we get to the 25th, let's go ahead and flare on this doom cannon now. As long as bolt stays in front there, we're actually looking pretty alright. So the 25th, now I probably could have just crittered both that one but that's okay now i just want to make sure that they don't go too far that way 
Let's flare him back over here nice and deep. Come on, Bombers. Stay this way, please. Okay, this is going to come right down to the wire. I mean, <clears throat> it looks like we're gonna get a, gonna, going to get a good time, but um, it's still up in the air right now because he's got the that freaking Sky Shield. This is why the Sky Shield is so important. So at this point, we just want to critter for extra, uh, for extra damage. Obviously, we want to get that flare in as quickly as we can. So we're going to try our best to do that. There we go. And... Yeah. Now, look at that. I didn't use a single shock bomb. That was a slow hit. That wasn't very good. I didn't use a single shock bomb. Um, and all of our critters were, were used to either take out the engine room or to take out mines that were going to hit the, uh, the bombardiers. Boom! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, Heavy Chopper, Rocket Chopper is definitely a thing. I've lost to it a couple times today. This is not outright Heavy Chopper Bomber is best. I think, honestly, Heavy Chopper Seeker is probably best if you can pull it off. Um, I know some guys at 70R. Well, 70R is different, but uh, right now 70R is different because the guys that are there don't have a lot of other defenses they skipped out on. Um, so, yeah, they're getting good times up there with Heavy Chopper Seeker, but... I don't know if Heavy Chopper Seeker is really going to be the meta and for 6ERs that have all the defenses like we do. Um, but yeah, Heavy Chopper, Rock Chopper, that's working well. I'm not much of a Rock Chopper guy. I just don't like using them. Um, so I, I kind of, uh, you know, I definitely prefer Heavy Chopper bom Bomber. I find it a little bit more consistent, a little bit easier to use. Um, yeah, and I mean, with Sky Shields and, you know, we got all, all the defenses out now, Heavy Chopper, Rock Chopper is going to be tough to pull off consistently, in my opinion, so... I'm sticking with the uh, with the magic school bus and the uh, the bomb doodlers, as we say. Um, and yeah, you know, it's been a rough season. It's it's been one of the worst seasons in terms of the opening of it. But right now, I'm having a ton of fun. You know, I'm enjoying these attacks. They're it's it's kind of the same thing, I guess. But uh, you know, a lot of I know a lot of people were negative about warships in general um, this season, and that was definitely validated. You know, there there was. Um, like, they can't open a season like that ever again. But at the same time, you know, it's it's Warships, man. Like, I love it. Like, I honestly do. I really enjoy playing it. Um, it can get very frustrating when you're losing a lot, for sure. Don't get me wrong. You guys know that firsthand from watching these videos sometimes. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it is, it is enjoyable. Uh, let's shock this. Uh, if I was going to hit the Sky Shield, I was going to take that all back. It's like, no, I hate this game. <laughs> um, okay, so what do we got here? He's got two flamethrowers down there. So let's actually go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we'll wait for the troops to come through. Easy, easy, easy. i got to shock that rocket real quick. Real quick, real quick. Uh, I lost a lot of my bombers. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, but as long as we keep a couple of them, we should be okay. They're actually going to die to that rocket over there. You just got to be careful. I mean, if, if you're not careful, then, uh, yeah, these guys will kind of just die to everything. Okay, those critters are going to do a good job. Now, as soon as I take out this rocket, I'm just going to flare onto that engine. Uh, there we go. And let's go ahead. Well, we don't really need to use bullet at all. Um, we should get an okay time here. This The critters are working. I don't know where to throw my extra artillery. Right here, I guess. There we go. Two minutes and four seconds. Not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. Let's see what that does with us. Does with us? Two, five. Yes, there we go. Yo, this guy's got Kavon. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, that's the whole idea, guys. If you can consistently take down an extra engine room with your gunboat energy, whether that's critters or um, artillery. Now, I forgot to mention, I, I opened up another GBE node. I opened up the first one, the cheap one, for 24 keys. Second one's 28 keys. I don't know if we need that just yet. I kind of want to hold on to my keys because, uh, you know, they're so, so valuable in warships. But, um... That definitely helped. That pretty well. That was huge because that gave me the ability to um, to clear one of these engines. Um, 
with gunboat energy and, and you can see there that's what's uh, that's what's paying off in terms of time so that's where we're at let's take a look on the leaderboards guys second in the task force always nice for bragging rights number eight in canadia and i don't know 400 ish leaderboard oh no we're higher now let's go dude top three yeah 297 not too bad now i got a ways to go i mean if we want to finish top 500 in the season we want to be like it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We're going to have to hit some more push points. Uh, we're not finished just yet. But, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that helps you out. Um, as always, I do appreciate if you use the code chicken in the shop. Check out the uh, Discord. The link is in the video description. It does work. I know I got some comments saying it doesn't work. Uh, it does for sure work. That The link uh, worked for me today. Anyways, I don't know. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.